Ladies and gentlemen, the Matrix is wild today, okay? Apparently, they are saying that Andrew Tate has admitted to the art charge. He has admitted to all the other stuff. There's leaked audio recordings going around. We're also hearing that he can do 180 days and the judge can definitely give him more time. This is a video clip taken on the 31st of December 2022 featuring Andrew and Marie Tate being escorted into a police van whilst handcuffed. So you're probably asking yourself why he's in this situation, but the truth isn't mm. something you would expect. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be holding an investigation on Andrew Tate's arrest and what this could mean for the future of the Tate brothers. What, what if you think Andrew Tate is uh, innocent? Too, if you think not at all, I want to know where you at right now this after the case that, that the entire leak internet audio. seems to be divided on. Andrew's troubles with the justice system would begin in 2015, when a woman who previously oh, lived dang. and worked in his home would file a complaint against him. These weren't just any ordinary complaints that you'd get a slap on the wrist for. These were allegations of Andrew being physically violent towards her. And within a couple of weeks, Andrew would find his door being knocked down by the police, who would then take him in for questioning. Man, there is so much stuff out there, and this is getting really hard. Like, Andrew Tate really put himself in this situation. I feel like that to a certain extent he was playing that role, but he has snitched so much, man. There is so much stuff that he said that whether whether you believe it or not, whether he believes it or not, that doesn't really matter. That If the judge sees that, and he's likely has seen all of that, and the prosecutor Prosecutors really gonna they got evidence for this they got videos for this and he himself said all of these words it's crazy that that leaked audio that's a little bit suspect you, you know if you are saying that bro that's uh, AI generated if you're saying that bro like I'm not sure that's a little bit suspect on that I kind of understand but on videos like these I mean I don't know man they got evidence for this son she went to the police oh shit and told the police I hit her Oh shit. oh shit! So it's five in the morning, and this is about four months later. Five in the morning, four months later, I'm laying in bed. Girl here, girl here, <laughs> chilling, living the life. Bruh. And I heard the door boom, 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 boom. And I don't know how I knew, I just knew it was police. The way they knew. Oh my door, god! I was yeah. like, if you were gonna rob me, you'd kick the door in, or you, you this is just too obvious. And, and as soon as I heard that noise, I just paused for a second, I heard police! And I was like, ah. Oh, <laughs> like, ah. Throughout the raid, most of Andrew's electronics would be seized and searched, but after Damn. a four-year investigation, the case would find itself being closed, deeming Andrew Tate innocent based on the lack of evidence. But another thing, man, this is like really, really suspect though. The fact that they have already seized his like Bugatti, they have seized uh, like all of his cars out there, their property, without fully, fully finding out the decision, right? Like maybe he's guilty in your eyes, maybe he's not guilty in your eyes. My opinion your opinion don't matter in that case the judge opinions matter because after all he's gonna be he's gonna be getting, sentencing him or he's gonna let the man free the sus part here is that already uh, he's kind of like in the middle right innocent till proven guilty let's just uh, say I know some people Bruh. are like nah man he's uh he's not innocent a lot of people are like he's innocent let's let's try to be objective with this situation the case is still ongoing the judge has not uh, uh, like said uh, has not given his decision but they still already have seized his vehicles that's actually wild that's truly wild the incident left Andrew with a lasting resentment towards the legal system in the UK, and it was so difficult for him that he would decide to move to Romania in order to avoid similar situations in the future and although Andrew thought and y'all know what happened but he had put his troubled past behind him fate had other plans when remaining mm. authorities would raid his home in april of 2022 the reason for this raid was that he was suspected for holding two women hostage one of which was allegedly a u.s citizen andrew once again found himself in a rather difficult situation but determined to prove his innocence just as he had before andrew and his brother tristan would deny all the allegations and label the entire incident as an act of quote swatting swatting is when someone makes a fake and, and, and yeah i believe like later on that chick that was uh you know the, the the u.s chick or whatever i'm not sure about the entire situation but apparently we heard that that chick came back and they were having like pizza there so it's like you know it wasn't bruh and, and uh, that chick that was at, at andrew's place was somebody someone's else chick so she was kind of like cheating around potentially even uh I don't know, but her, her boyfriend called in and said that, bro, like, uh, yo, yo, send the SWAT, send the SWAT, send the Popo, send the Babylon, right? And they got there and they realized that she was there because she wanted to be there, but she kind of kept 
to her uh, to her boyfriend, and apparently the, that's like a double bomb bomb right there. And see cool pretending that there's a dangerous situation all in an attempt to get the police or SWAT team to go to the other person's house and at the time the Tate brothers would actually be arrested by the Romanian police but in similar events to the first time this happened they would later be released from police custody however once again would have their electronics and other items confiscated as it would be needed for future investigations it was also around this time that Andrew began gaining popularity on the internet and when news corporations and Twitter users began calling Andrew a violent to misogynist that beats and traffics Misogyny. women. And with his previous arrests and meme-worthy quotes, can he really blame someone who would believe these accusations to be true? One of the messages Andrew mm. would spread was the theory that he would be censored and banned from social media for promoting a narrative and ideology that encourages males to stop being lazy and incels, which was the opposite to what he describes the Matrix agenda as, which he describes as encouraging laziness and femininity in men. This would lead up to October of 2020. I, on that one, like, he's kind of right, though. Whether you like him or not, he was speaking facts there 110 percent cold hard facts whether you like it or not that was facts though but the situation is really taking a dark turn and i'm pretty sure they're like digging his past and they're surely gonna find something or a lot of things he did wrong but like we all listen man it's uh, he snitch a lot he really did snitch a lot and that's it that is what biting him in the ass right now he shouldn't have snitched if he wanted to stay free. The Matrix, uh, I believe that there's some sort of Matrix, but you have snitched so much that you're giving Matrix a chance, right? Like, you're always saying that escape the Matrix, Bruh. escape the... I, and I agree with that. I agree with you on this one. Y'all gotta escape. I gotta escape it. You gotta escape. We gotta escape the Matrix. And Matrix is like a metaphor, right? We need to... Uh, because a lot of people are stuck with the 95 and stuff like that. And uh, you just need to be better as a man whether you're a woman or a man like doesn't matter you just need to be better as a person you need to be better as a human it's good to exercise it's good to eat healthy and whenever he promotes stuff like that i vibe with that oh hell yeah and they do not want him nor nor anyone to say that the the society want you to be lazy that's these are facts these are facts. Too, when Andrew's predictions would come into fruition, as he'd be strategically banned across not only all mainstream social media platforms, but even big tech apps such as Uber and several banking apps. The Damn. mass censorship of Andrew Tate actually caused society to pay more attention to him, facts. and free speech YouTube alternative Rumble would recognize his ban. And like, this is where I like I want to pump the brakes. It's gonna it's gonna make you think, right? Doesn't matter if you hate him. Doesn't matter if you like him, love him. Doesn't matter if you agree with some stuff disagree with other stuff i guess collectively we can all come together i still know that if i say collectively someone will be like Bruh. Bruh, i disagree i automatically a lot of people will automatically disagree but let's keep a buck here man the fact that doesn't matter what he said right doesn't matter whether you like it or don't like it the fact that they clipped his nuts the fact that all of them together all at once dead ass banned him permanently from all the social media that's a that's a red flag man that's a red flag like all that that's what the matrix is essentially they ban him send him in another dimension dead ass straight up and this is where rumble came out and we're like okay we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna save you man you can you you can come over on rumble and we're gonna actually hit you up right <laughs> And right after that, Elon Musk actually bought Twitter and Twitter kind of like Elon Musk kind of freed him. So in that aspect, like Elon Musk is kind of pro uh, free speech by the looks of it. I don't know, man. Uh, even Elon Musk, a lot of people are 50-50 with Elon Musk as well. But that thing is, uh, yeah, 50-50. Let's just say that, okay. As an opportunity, and would go on to approach Andrew with a $100 million contract. This was great Damn. news for Andrew, since the only other platform... Yo, can a brother get two cents so I can go to China and buy buy another Andrew Tate or Bruh. something? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? What he had access to was live television, where the host would openly antagonize him. The good news for Andrew wouldn't stop there. Following Elon Musk's acquisition, of Twitter, many popular accounts that were banned for various reasons would be reinstated, including Andrew's profile at Cobra Tate. With both his new Rumble account, which has around 300,000 subscribers, and his recovered Twitter account, Andrew would be back on his way to making a comeback on social media. However, getting his Twitter account back wouldn't be a W Rumble in that aspect. I really hope there are more platforms that that 
are pro free speech. I really want more platforms. By the way, I also created a Rumble account at Skizzalax because one of my videos recently was taken down as well. And I don't even say any F words, bruh. Like, I just try to keep it as tame bruh. as... Uh, try, I try to cover both sides. I am, um, You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I also was double... Bumble God! Man completely beneficial for him. On the 27th of December 2022, Andrew would finish the year by getting himself into an online controversy that would hold unimaginable consequences. In a tweet targeting climate activist and meme Greta Thunberg, Andrew would flex his exotic car collection and attempt to trigger her with the amount of pollution he exhausts. Although Greta Thunberg is already a meme and an easy target to ratio, the internet looked down upon a grown man publicly trying to annoy a teenager. And what would make things worse for Andrew is that Greta would actually actually snap back with a deadly tweet that would gain almost 4 million mm. likes. Refusing to take the- Those are Matrix likes, man. Those are me. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, this is insane, right? This is really a tweet. 4 million likes, 4 million likes. Man was ratioed in to another planet, to another planet. And, and the fact that he was flying by saying that my, my Bugatti has W16, 8.0, lead a quad turbo. That's the first thing they sees, man. That's the first thing. The Matrix really got him on that one. The Matrix said, not today, sir. We're gonna get your Bugatti. That's the first thing they got. That's the first thing they see. It's crazy, L, Andrew would create a response to the tweet in a laughable video that would ultimately lead up to his arrest. So you're probably asking yourself how a simple video on Twitter could lead to him being arrested. And the answer for that lies in the fact that the investigators were closely monitoring Andrew's social media posts and would notice that the branding on the mm. pizza boxes were from a company named Jersey's Pizza, which is- Yo, okay, it, like, pump the brakes, son. Like- I get it. For the memes, even I said that. Like, for the memes, it sound good, but man, we're talking about a country, bro. Like, they would, they would know when and, and if he entered the country. Deadass, they would know. I think this was a plan attack. They were looking for, they were searching, and they found something, and then they're like, okay, let's go. Like, go, 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 go. And then they went in ganging style, and they just raided the homie up like crazy, and uh, the, the pizza box was to blame. Jerry Pizza was to blame after that one, and uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure their stock probably started booming after that. Pretty sure everybody started eating at Jerry's Pizza, except for, like, the hardcore Andrew Tate fans. They were like, okay, I'm, I'm never gonna eat at Jerry's Pizza, man. Bruh. I'm never gonna eat that. Y'all are the reason why they got him but if you're like a hardcore andrew tate fan you probably don't believe in that you're probably like no nah, man it was not to do, it was not to do with the jerry's pizza though Romanian based pizza business. This small but critical piece of information would alert the police of Andrew's presence in Romania. Armed with this knowledge, Romanian law enforcement would implement search warrants and mobilize officers who would go on to raid Tate's residence, where Andrew and his brother Tristan would. It was the pizza box, guys. <laughs> It was a piss up. Be immediately man. taken into police custody, spawning this viral oh, video. Oh, snap. Why do you see the birds? Are there condition wheels? Man, it's seriously, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. It seriously looks like, like a start of GTA 6, bro. I feel like this is how GTA 6 is gonna start. Like, look, straight up Grand Theft Auto there, bro. In a press release made by the Directorate of the Investigation of Organized Crime and Terrorism, the charges brought against Andrew would be revealed to the public. The document starts by outlining suspicions of Andrew, his brother, and two other individuals constituting a crime group involving trafficking. Dicot stated the methods used by the group involved recruiting girls by, quote, misrepresenting their intention to enter a marriage slash cohabitation relationship and the existence of genuine feelings of love. According to law enforcement, the victims would be transported, housed, and forced to perform adult demonstrations for the purpose of producing and disseminating through social media platforms. They would go on to state that six victims had been identified. The second group of charges stated in the- Bro, we can still see that R word, bro. Like, why even- If you're gonna try to censor it, just censor it completely, man. Press release were in relation to the crime of the four-letter R word, where it was stated that, quote, an injured person was forced on two different occasions by a suspect through the exercise of physical violence 
surveillance and psychological pressure to have redacted. On the 5th of January 2023, Vice would release an interview with one of the girls that made a police report back in 2015. Man, is... don't don't believe anything Vice says. Don't believe. I, I, in a way, I'm glad that they got caught because listen, man, you don't want to you want to be your own person, okay? There's a lot of evidence coming out. There's a, there's many times Andrew Tate self snitch as well, which is I I, I really I genuinely feel like that just say just uh, like he's gonna get caught and the reason for he's gonna get caught he's already caught but when i say caught i mean he's gonna do some time in prison if he's for real gonna do some time in prison he's already doing but i mean like in terms of like being fully charged and being found fully guilty if the judge comes out tomorrow and says like yeah we found him guilty the reason he's gonna find him guilty is surely gonna be Andrew Tate himself. He said so much stuff that, man, I don't know, man. He snitched so much. Let's say hypothetically, okay? I, I don't know, you don't know, we don't know, okay? Like, what's going on? Uh, he may have done some stuff that they're accusing him of. He might not have. He might completely be innocent. I, I, I don't claim to know anything, okay? But let's say he's completely innocent and they really want, the Matrix really wanna F with him, they're gonna F with him. And now he doesn't have any defense for him because of the stuff he said on, on streams, multiple streams, multiple podcasts. He said so much stuff, man. That's that's what gonna that that is what gonna bite him in the ass. He the claimed end. that Andrew S aid her as well as other girls in his residence. Throughout the interview, she would go into detail about how she met Andrew, her working conditions, and the events she would go on to witness in his home. In the wake of these allegations and Andrew's arrest, the reactions from the bro, we still see the R word, bro. Like internet ranged anywhere from complete disbelief and outrage all the way to joy and approval. But it seemed like. Andrew's supporters weren't so quick to jump the gun, and that was mainly due to the fact that Andrew had seemingly predicted that this would happen months prior when mm. describing the three strike system of the Matrix. And who is they? Well, that's a good question. Even if I knew all their names, I wouldn't say it here. <laughs> but uh, why wouldn't you say it here? I wouldn't say it here because they've already given me quite a few warnings, mm. and I'm now at the point where I actually truly believe they're going to try and kill me. I, I, so I, you've had messages from people. Yeah, the, the, the way my guy's like, wow. <laughs> the way my guy's, okay, let me do that. It would be much better. Wow. You know, I, I just don't understand. Cut this off, man. Cut, <laughs> cut this off, bro. I, Trying to control you who you think would kill you. I understand that you get three strikes in this game. Strike one is they try and shut you up and discredit you, which I've just been through. Strike two is they try and put you in jail for no reason, and strike three is they kill you. And one of my strikes is now gone, and I now mm. firmly believe that they're going to try and kill me because they want me to be quiet and I'm not being quiet. And I have huge amounts of influence, is which is what they're scared. Of. Whilst many Facts. users on the internet will confidently label and describe, you guys want to know the craziest thing? Whether you like him or not, like him or not, uh, I recently heard that the schools in the UK, some of them at least, they are perma banning Andrew Tate. You would, you would be like, Bruh. he has already been perma banned. What do you mean? Those schools are trying to come up with new classes, new education system, new planes, uh, they call it, uh, to uh, de Andrew Tate the kids because the kids have been influenced so much that it's uh, misog uh, it's misogyny. misogyny, essentially. So they are going to have de Andrew Tate classes to educate the kids properly and my guy all i gotta say is that bro like y'all be talking about gender fluids to the the eight years old to the 13 years old y'all gotta stop that first too man you know what I'm saying? as a quote trafficker it is worth noting that he doesn't have any prior criminal record the kids don't need to know that stuff at this young of young of an age let them just be kids let them play let them learn their abcd bro like like, come on, son. As of making this video, several celebrities, commentary channels, and close friends of Andrew, such as his girlfriend, would take to social media to state their stance on the situation. The innocent until proven guilty perspective would be widely expressed across the internet, and especially by those who knew him closely, such as Aiden Ross and Valuetainment, whom have both featured Andrew on several of their Va Valuetainment W channel. W channel. W channel. If you are all about entrepreneurship, business, you want to be better as a man, you want to uh, grow yourself, uh, 
um, uh, and you're a fan of, I, I mean, if you're a fan of Andrew Tate, you're gonna be a fan of them, but even if you're not a fan of Andrew Tate, I feel like the Valuetainment W, regardless, uh, I would say ignore, if, if you hate Andrew Tate, then yeah. ignore what Valuetainment has to say on Andrew Tate, but other than that, bro, he got quality stuff, quality stuff. Dreams. I don't know exactly the details of uh, Tate's arrest, but here's what I do know. A day after he publicly calls out one of Woke's heroes, Greta Thunberg, they raid his place? Strange timing. Meanwhile, we haven't seen anyone from Epstein's list arrested. Weird. Damn. Strange. All right, chat, look, I just woke up to some crazy catastrophical, catastrophical, catastrophical news about Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. They just got raided and arrested in um, Romania. Listen, it's over some sexual trafficking. Um, I don't know what to believe. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know yeah. there was like this on Twitter. Don't, don't believe everything you hear. So W. Aiden on that. W. Aiden on that. He might be guilty. He might not be. But I'm, I'm just saying, listen both sides. Listen to both sides and come to your own conclusion. But still be open enough to the possibility of you could be wrong. wrong. Or you could be right. You could be... Or, or you, yeah, you might be wrong, wrong. Because we're always wrong. I'm wrong. You're wrong. We're all wrong. Okay, we're all... We can be wrong. When you go in with this mentality, you can only grow. So let's say that you're, you're trying to achieve your goals. You're trying to achieve... Uh, your dreams and uh, you're trying to learn something just go in with the mindset be confident for sure like try to rack of knowledge as much as possible try to learn as much as possible and when you're learning stuff mu as much as possible you also need to be open to the idea that you could be wrong because only then you can learn like don't and in this situation i mean we're, we're talking what like we're talking some serious stuff right here dog but if you'd with someone named greedy greta Greta or Greta or something like that. Greedy. Bruh. And um, something happened where she basically said something like email me or something like that. And she texted her email and then boom, the whole Twitter went crazy. You got like 3 million likes on it or something like that. I just hope, um, hope it isn't true. Yo, can we get two likes on this video? For one. Um, Andrew and Tristan. I love you. It was evident that this sentiment Bruh. wasn't just shared by Andrew's friends, with a tweet stating, "People hate Andrew." I've seen some of uh, some of the recent uh, uh, Aiden videos, and he's really changing as a person in a good way. It really feels like that Andrew Tate had a good influence on him, whether you like him or not. But that's but but I've noticed that he's uh, trying to better himself. He's trying to like pump that iron, pump that iron. And his mindset has been getting better as well. So that I would say W Aiden. I don't watch Aiden, but uh, at all. I didn't even knew about him. I recently started and I watched his last video. He got banned over on Twitch, and some are saying he was promoting uh, doing push-ups, and he was saying that don't watch the hub content. And that's like the rumors going around, and apparently this is why he got banned over on Twitch. <laughs> I'm not surprised because uh, Twitch, they, they want to promote all of that stuff. So if you're like anti all of that stuff, if you're about, hey man, don't be lazy, uh, pu do, do 20 push-ups. Like you pump iron, pump iron, right? If you're going to promote that, then obviously Twitch is like, bruh. bruh. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'm still skeptical, but I'm hearing that's that's the reason. I, I could be wrong though. Like, I yeah, probably wrong. wrong. Tate, but so. probably not wrong because Twitch, after all, what they promote. The main, if you look at the top pages, it's nothing but garbage. It's nothing but all the the the, the streamers with like bobs hanging out. It's like the they, they have literally made an entire stream category for the hot tub streams. Like we're living in end times, guys. We repent now, bro. So much that they would rather women were actually trafficked and abused rather than see him walk free and innocent. Anyone else noticing this? Andrew seems to be genuinely worried for himself for the first time since he's been in the spotlight. So like, what are your plans now? Or like, what do you feel about what's happened to you? And what's your, what's your moves? Or I mean, I don't, I don't expect you to reveal them, but what's your plans? Yeah, so the it, Matrix attacked me. Yeah. They tried to remove me from social They've media. They used their bullets. They used their bullets. I'm still all over social media, so they failed. They failed. What's scary about it, the only thing I will say I don't like about being banned is that you get three lives when you attack powerful people. They Damn. first ban you and try and shut you up. Secondly, they'll put you in jail for something you didn't do. And thirdly, mm. they'll kill you. So I've used my- Now there are two sides to this one, right? There are people actually deadass believing that Andrew Tate didn't predict anything. He's just garbage. He saw this coming and he knew that one day he will go to jail. So he was just saying that for the sake of it. So whenever he gets into jail, uh, he would look like he predicted. And then there's other side to it that genuinely believes what he says. They genuinely believe that 
the Matrix really got him and there are surely three strikes. I would agree with strike number one, 100%, because, yeah, they... If it let's okay, let's be real. If Andrew Tate was just banned on one platform, that would be like okay, right? Like, uh, or maybe, yeah, maybe he really broke the TOS and uh, he did something insane, and that platform was like, okay, bro, like we gotta bruh. we gotta ban you, right? But it was not just one social media, it was everybody, Uber. Uber banned him, some of the banking system banned him, that's just insane. All of them came together and they were like, yo, let's get it, let's get it, let, 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 let's, 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 uh, bumble bumble God. God. the homie up. And they did, so I agree with step one. Now, step two, he's in jail, but he has snitched so much that it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know, that's a, that's one of those parts where I'm like 50-50 right now, okay? I, I do like a lot of the stuff he says, especially the stuff that he talks about for self-improvement, because that's like traditional. He is not saying anything crazy, he's just talking about traditional values, right? He's just talking about stuff, like, from the age of, uh, from the day of, from the dawn of mankind. Mankind, men, they used to pump, they used to practice, they used to, they used to uh, get food, they used to hunt down, they used to uh, act exercise on a daily basis bruh daily basis they would be lifting a lot of uh 500 uh, i wouldn't say 500 pounds that's kind of a lot but i wouldn't be surprised if they were lifting 500 pounds worth of items around and just rolling around providing for the families doing the best they can do and they were never never obese they were all they were also never lazy right they would eat good food so this is the type of stuff he's promoting uh and, and i agree with that my first life, which you is kind pump. of upsetting. Iron. You gotta pump iron. And you know that next is gonna be some false charges. The two worst ones. Yeah, yeah and, and af if you survive the false charges, you just die. Jesus. So it's, that's kind of upsetting. Andrew's ex-girlfriends coming out in support of him seem to be a trend, as on the 2nd of January, another one of his exes would release a video expressing her thoughts on Andrew's predicament. That is absolutely false. I had lived with Andrew for years and years, and he would never do anything like this. Cap, cap or no cap? What what you all think? You, uh, there are some people saying that, bro, like Andrew Tate paid for those lips. Bro, yeah. I don't believe it. Not a human trafficker. He would never anybody, and he would certainly never ever human traffic anyone either, including his brother. They would never do such thing. I am just for context. That's the same woman that apparently Andrew Tate beat a slap and later on she came out this was like the first second video and then she i believe made a third video i'm not 100 percent sure and then she said again once again so she's she said that a couple of times on record that she wanted that she was playing that role i've seen that video it looks really bad um not even gonna justify not even gonna try to defend andrew tate on that but the vic she is called the victim but and she came out and she says i'm not the victim she even went over on national tv i believe in romania and, and said she wanted that like she was into that and that's actually crazy there are uh, a lot of I'll, I guess a lot of people. Bruh. I, I I cannot even compute. This is why I was hesitating. Has this is why I'm hesitant to say this because I cannot compute. But I guess it is what it is, man. Uh, there are some people that are actually into that kind of stuff. And now she is not accusing him. She is actually saying she wanted that. Whether you want to believe that or not, that's up to you. But it's like, damn, son. So shocked, and I'm so fed up with all of these lies. The response from his ex-girlfriends could be seen as critical in helping Andrew's case, since they would have been in a similar situation as the alleged. And with all that said, we are still left with one question. Yep. Where is Andrew? As of this upload, the Tate brothers are still in police custody. However, on the 9th of January 2023, one of them would be taken to the hospital to receive routine treatment due to a medical condition. The Tates tried to get out of prison on the basis that they had kids to look after, but were promptly denied their freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen. This also just happened for Andrew Tate, uh, to Andrew Tate, I should say. It's some of the craziest stuff. Click on this video or click the video on the left because this UFO was dead ass caught on camera. This is on my second channel. Click on this video and I will see you right there.